You're supposed to go out to TSB ears, top spot buyers first. And then from there, we just had a bunch of them. And I said, put them in people's mail day, people who got skunked, people who maybe bought a lot of spots, stuff like that. And that's when I realized, wow, I have a lot of customers. <laughs> really, Denny? Man, I just wish they would have went through these protocols in the middle of summer when small businesses were being burnt down, literally, and people were spitting in the face of police. Sure would have been nice if they put this effort all summer, but when it hits home... When it hits to the politicians, they sit home and watch the riots all year on their TV and say, no need to call in the National Guard. That'll scare everybody. We can't do that. That'll scare the people. Don't put the National Guard out there at these riots. Cities burning down for a week straight. And then it happens to them and they're threatened and all of a sudden they got the whole army. It's just uncanny. It's amazing. I call it how I see it. I call it how I see it. I call it how I see it. That's just a fact. That's not a political statement or choosing sides. That's just pretty blatantly obvious to me. Oh, look, cities are burning throughout America. and They're literally taking over cities in Portland and different places and uh, burning down police stations. And Oh, but that's okay. then it gets a little too close for comfort and all of a sudden shut them down all those small businesses all those they care for the people we care for the people <laughs> you didn't care for the people all summer they lost their livelihoods their businesses people died get out of here care for the people oh don't get me started Don't get me started. Good luck, everybody. We have this, and I think we got a playbook, these two right here, to end up with. Guys, I was thinking about with this playbook, I was thinking I should open them up off camera over here. See, you can't see the cards. So I'm just going to open the boxes, and then I'll just bring the cards over and show them to you guys one by one. Because that makes sense. I'll turn off this camera. So, I'll just open them off camera and I'll show them to you as they come out. Is that good? Because that's too difficult to just do this. Uh, we did, we got one to go yet, Tim Lawson. <laughs> you haven't put on nice pants. I haven't put on nice pants in seven months. <laughs> that's the quote of the night there. that's That struck my funny bone. It was very, very specific. You weren't like, man, I haven't had to have a business meeting or wear business clothes in a while. I haven't put on nice pants in seven months. <laughs> Uh, that's good. There's Brandon. He is a NFC champion.
can't believe I can't believe a Justin Herbert non shiny base rookie out of here is 140 bucks. Oh, there you go. That's good. Snakeskin Justin Jefferson for the Vikings. Larry Vaughn. Well, Denning, aren't you in the National Guard? Aren't you active duty right now? There's OBJ. I don't even think the Browns need him anymore. He's numbered to 99. <laughs> Phone calls with Fauci in the shower. Oh, gosh, Denning. I have one of the dopest things anyone has ever gifted me, and it is a field-worn jacket from Christopher Denning. It has a monster patch on it. I cherish that thing, man. I see it every single day. It's hanging up in our mudroom on a dope... Uh, hanger. I see it all the time. I usually bust it out around uh, Halloween. Wear it around for a couple days. Show it off. This is America. That's all there is to it. I just wake up every day. I get home at 1, 2 in the morning. I go to bed. I wake up. I come in here between 9 and 10. I work all day, build breaks, work in the shop, get ready to move to my new location, go home, eat dinner, hang out with my kids and wife for a little bit. I come back in here. I've been doing that for a year straight. Nothing else. Well, we did go to Hawaii. Oh, that thing is awesome, Denning. I'm telling you, man. I cherish that. I got the, uh, I think he sent me two things. One of them sticks on the shirt, on the jacket. The other one I think I have sitting downstairs in my uh, man cave room on a shelf. You, you used the monster. You had the monster made. He made the purple monster into a patch, like, like an army brigade looking... I should find it take some more pictures again because it was awesome. And a hat. Sent me his hat too that he wore over in Iraq or Baghdad or something. The other pride, pride possession, prize possession is that flag that you've seen before that was flown on a B-52 bomber. See, I have multiple camera angles so I can set my cards there and I can turn this this way and show you that flag right there that was flown on a b-52 bomber and I get a certificate with it Dallas, Neville Gallimore. Seriously? Dallas Cowboys. It wasn't a Blackhawk. It was a B-52. It was Jason... Uh, well, what's her name's hus husband sent me a bunch of their... It's a devil. These big, thick, chunky patches. Remember Desiree and her husband, Jason? I sent his troop a bunch of stuff at Christmas time. We do mail day for the troops. And they sent me their uh, patches and stuff. That was from Jason Cephalenia, whatever his name is. They send you a certificate and it's signed by the captain or the, po or the uh, general or whoever's on duty there. And it has the time and the date and it says it was flown over this certain area. Literally flown the flag over the, on the B-52 in the air. For years I've been meaning to get one of those cool displays to put it in.
I will in the new shop. Josh Allen. Saquon, the goat. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Could that be Tua? The Dolphins are owned by Dave K. This dude loves it here as it is. If he hits a Dolphins auto, it's just going to be miraculous love. Gosh, Dave K. Tua auto. Super dope, buddy. I don't know if Dave K is a chatter either. I think Dave K is a watches the breaks later. A lot of guys have been doing that lately. They watch the breaks on their own time. Dude's been buying a lot of spots. Thanks, Dave. That makes me feel good. Nice hit. He is, Paul. 175. Dave K started buying in here maybe a month ago or so. Month and a half. I don't even know how he got here. Referral. Probably a friend, friend of Paul Barker and Paul wins. That's the beauty of these BOGOs. It's high reward. You just hit a, you hit a Justin Herbert, a Jalen, or a Tua, Joe. It could be $500 or more. Oh, he hit the Tua Mini too? The camo? Oh, there's two boxes left out of the case of playbook. I think there should be a... Odds say that there will be one of those locker cards in there. My name is Tua. I think Tua is a good investment. That's a, that's a good card. These rookies this year, man. Next, this coming football season, I think it's going to be like Zion Madness. But football. Unfortunately, it's going to price a lot of people out of the hobby. Break spots are going to be up. Holy shit, it's almost 1 a.m.? I thought I was going to get home at like midnight. 